Hello, my name is Simonaz and welcome to another Simonaz Guide video. Today I've got a quick one for you about the Horseman's Blade, also known as the Pumpkin Sword. The data is in, this sword is great, everyone is going to want to get it. Now, before we get to the details, if you like this kind of video where I do all the work, give you all the details, give you some detailed analysis, be sure to hit like down below, subscribe to the video, you can join me on Discord as well or follow me on Twitch. These are great ways to support my work. Now, let's get to it. The Horseman's Blade, also known as the Pumpkin Sword, is a pretty good weapon. Very high weapon damage, agility, nice 2.7 speed, and has an on-use ability to summon pumpkin soldiers to burn your foes. This is what makes it special and gives it value throughout the remainder of the expansion. It's an item you're definitely going to want to pick up. It drops from the Headless Horseman in Scarlet Monastery between October 18th and November 1st. This boss is part of the holiday Halloween event. Just like Brewfest, you get one summon per character per day. So if you go in with a group of five people, you'll be able to kill the boss five times. Unlike Brewfest, there's an additional once per season quest to be able to summon the horseman an additional time. So if it's your first time going into Scarlet Monastery, you'll have the once per season and the once per day quest and be able to do two summons. Now the horseman's blades weapon stats are actually identical to that of Spite Blade, which never drops from Nether Spite in Karazhan. It just has the additional Summon Pumpkin Soldiers ability attached to it. And this is what we really care about. This is what makes it special. These little Pumpkin Soldiers guys that deal some additional damage. The Pumpkin Soldier details. We want to figure out exactly how these behave, what the deal is. Uh, three pumpkins are summoned over three seconds when you activate the sword. Each pumpkin lasts 30 seconds before it despawns. The pumpkin's attacks are all physical damage and are reduced by armor. Even the ranged fireball-like attack is dealing physical damage. Each activation, in total, deals around 2,500 damage if the pumpkin soldiers get to attack for their full duration. That's quite a lot of damage. You can weapon swap in combat, uh, and unequipping the pumpkin sword will not despawn any active pumpkins. This makes this item very useful, even if you have a better sword. You can summon the pumpkins, swap to your better sword, and profit from the pumpkin soldier's damage. Now you have to be careful with that though, because after activating the sword, you need to wait three seconds to let the pumpkin summon. Then you can swap it off to have a better sword. If you swap it off too early, you won't get the pumpkin summons. Wherefore on my Discord has generated a very nice weak aura to help remind you when to swap off the pumpkin sword to make sure you don't miss any of the summons. The link is on screen now and it's also going to be in the video description. Now let's check out some gameplay. We're here in Darmal going up to King Gordok. We activate the pumpkin sword and you can see one, two, three pumpkins get summoned and they start attacking. We're dealing a bit of damage to King Gordok. But Gordok's also dealing a lot of damage to me. I'm not going to kill this boss. So, I am going to run away. Uh, cloak and vanish. And you can see my pumpkins are still active. King Gordok is fighting them, and I'm still in combat. This is actually a little uh, detail that you need to look out for. Um, if you have your pumpkins active and you vanish, you'll remain in combat, and the vanish will, will fail. Before we end the video... I just wanted to clarify the interaction between the pumpkin sword and the gnomish battle chicken. Uh, and that is that activating the pumpkin sword puts gnomish battle chicken on a 60 second cooldown, whereas activating gnomish battle chicken first puts the pumpkin sword on a 90 second cooldown. So you won't be able to have both of these active at once. Uh, however, there are plenty of situations where you won't be able to effectively use gnomish battle chicken, but you can use the pumpkin sword because it's a weapon and you can swap weapons in combat makes it much more versatile of a uh, summoned unit to use. Thanks for watching The Simonized Show. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Can't wait for more sweet videos. Links are on screen that you can watch right now. Be sure to join the Discord server and pop by on Twitch to catch me live. Links to both are in the video description. Thank you for watching and have a great day.